Hello, it's Coach Charlie with the Tech Basketball Academy. Do you often get rattled by big athletic man-to-man -man defenders? Do you sometimes freeze or settle for shots you don't practice or difficult shots during games because you are afraid to score against that tight, tough man-to-man -to -man defense? Well, today that stuff stops. I'm here to help you make it better. Today I wanna to show you exactly how you can attack man-to-man -man defense in basketball. It's simpler than you think. Let's get right to it. In this video, I'm going to share with you the number one solution to attacking man-to-man -man defenders that a lot of players are just not aware of. Then I'm going to tell you why the first second of you catching the ball is the most important second when you're playing against a man-to-man -man offense to look to score. Most players do not know this, have no idea. I want to share with you and I'm super excited to do that because this little trick will give you a slight edge every single time when you have the ball in your hand. Last, I'm gonna show you how you can control your man-to-man -man defender just like a puppet. Let's get after it. So what is the number one solution to attacking man-to-man -man defense that very few players know? Act in immediacy, also known as play with a sense of importance, okay? See that word immediacy, very few people understand that. See, when you play with immediacy, not only are you playing with a sense of urgency, which we all know, right? We all want to play with a sense of urgency, but actually you start to seek the opportunities, right? And again, when you seek, you're talking about patterns, right? You start to identify ID, okay? Right, I'll put that word there as well. We're talking about identifying patterns, right? with a sense of urgency to your priorities, right? To your priorities. What do you see? What do you seek? You go get it. You act with immediacy, right? And it brings you, right? It brings you into what I call a sense of importance, right? It brings you to it. When you play with that immediacy, not only is it urgent, you start to seek the patterns, you start to identify them to stay into your priorities because it brings attention to you, right? Right. It brings attention to you. Then you end up playing with your importance. OK, that word immediacy. Right. Very few people look uh, very few, very few people understand this word. Look this word up. OK, look that word up immediacy. I actually got it from one of my mentors. I steal everything and I'm proud of it. He actually talked about watching an interview many years ago with a Hall of Fame basketball player. And, uh, in a, uh, in a, and a reporter asked this player, why are you so good with the basketball? He told the reporter, I play with immediacy. I don't give my defenders a chance to set up. When I catch it, I attack. So guess what? I adopted that word immediacy. If you play with immediacy, watch how now more efficient you play as well. Before I tell you why, before I tell you why the first second of you catching the ball will make or break your scoring on man to man defense, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out videos daily to help develop you into a premium basketball player. Don't miss out on the content. Click the subscribe button. Now I'm going to tell you why the first second of you catching the ball will make or break your scoring on man-to-man -man defenses. See, you are the most open when you first catch the basketball. Why did your teammate pass you the ball? Because you were open. And you are the most open when you catch it, right? So when you catch that basketball, you must know what to do with it with immediacy. That situation brought you into a situation where now it's your turn to do what? Make a play. Right. And you want to identify. I said that word seek. You want to start to identify the patterns of how you are being guarded. Let's think about this, too. See, since most teams that play man to man, they're generally pretty athletic. That's why you need to understand the first second you catch that basketball, you need to jump on it with an active immediacy. You need to know what you're going to do with that ball. You need to know your scoring options. Right. Hands are up. Attack them. Hands are down. Shoot it. Keep it simple. Play with an active immediacy. See, go into your advantages 
because what that does, it throws your defenders off. And we talk about throwing your defenders off, it breaks their angles. When you break their angles, not only are they reacting to you, they're slow. They're all yours. Now you have the upper hand. That's what it's all about, learning how to continue to gain that slight edge every single time. See, even in this situation where your defender may be bigger than you, it doesn't matter because you did what? You act with immediacy. You seek the pattern, you saw the opportunity, you seek the pattern, you saw the opportunity, and you pounced on it. See, the whole point of offense, right, when you have the ball, is to continue to advance the ball to put yourself in high percentage scoring opportunities. And when you continue to put yourself in those high percentage scoring opportunities, you get a chance to act first, right? You become very proactive and not reactive. So even before your defender gets a chance to play defense, you're on them. Now that you know how to play with an active immediacy and the benefits of that, now what I want you to do is I want you to comment below with the immediacy to let me know you have learned something from this video. I guarantee you didn't even know that word prior to me talking about that. Real talk. So guess what? Still that word for me. Go look that word up and go play with the active immediacy. Put that in the comments below. Now I'm going to show you how to control your man-to-man -man defenders and make them your puppets. Simple. Let me write it down for you. When you catch the ball, we talked about on the catch, you are the most what? Open. So when you catch it, here's what you want to put on your mind. Your mentality is triple threat. No, not the traditional one that you know, that you can pass and you can dribble or you can shoot from. No, because guess what? If you can't pass the ball well, if you can't dribble well, or if you can't shoot well, there's no threat. So therefore, triple threat to me is a myth. I understand it's a position that you can get into, but if you have no confidence, you don't play with the immediacy to do these things, there's no threat. Let me help you out. Going back to it. On the catch, you're the most open. Here's what you put on your mind. Think. Shot. 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 Again, another thing I stole from one of my mentors. See, when you put on your mind, the first thing you think on that catch, when you are the most open, place yourself in a shooting position. That's what you want to do. Place yourself in a shooting position. Imagine I have the basketball, I catch it, I go here. Guess what that defender has to do? They have to put their hands up. They don't, I got a shot. Whether I make or miss is irrelevant. It's just that when I caught the ball, I thought shot, shot, shot until I couldn't anymore. Boom. Also, when you have this mentality, that does not mean you're gonna shoot every single time. All that means is that you are player ready. Because I guarantee you, when they take away your shot, guess what you're going to do? You can put the ball on the floor to go make a play. See, you're now talking about your scoring options. Very simple. Take out that old triple threat, pass, dribble, shoot. Because if you're not really a good passer, you don't really believe in your handles, your dribble, and you're not going to shoot it, there's no threat. That's just the position. How about be player ready? So on the catch, you think shot, shot, shot until you can't. And when they take away your shot, watch how your options come up. See, when you think shot, 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 you are controlling your defender. 
like we talked about earlier, right? It's all about, see, it's all about gaining the upper hand all the time. And when you play with an active immediacy, you make your defender react to you. You break their angles, you break their stance, they all belong to you. Hence, that's why they become your puppet. You control them. See, now your defender's gonna just stand around now. See, when they stand, when their hands are down, you're gonna do what? You're gonna shoot it. When their hands go up, what you gonna do? You're gonna blow by them. The hands go to the side, what you gonna do? You probably shot fake them. You gonna know what to do. I'm so excited for you, that's why I'm talking so fast. Think about that, keeping it very simple. See, now you control the defender's moves. Right. No longer he dictates or she dictates what you're going to do. You dictate it. It's like you're running a race and you get to say what? Ready, set, finish it off. Go. Exactly right. Don't let your defenders get the upper hand no more. You catch that basketball. You play with an active immediacy and on the catch, you know, you're the most open. Think shot, shot, shot. Does not mean you're going to shoot it. You're going to just place that ball in a shooting position and be player ready. They take away the shot, you put that ball on the ground and go make a play for yourself or your teammates. Now that you know how to attack man-to-man -man defense in basketball, how would you like to have a guy that covers all the must-know basketball principles and in what situation to apply them? Well, you are in luck. If you click the link in the description of the video below, you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it and keep attacking.